Well, damn, just when I think I'm gonna get a gaming Christmas next week, E3, there's a mini Thanksgiving right afterward. Wait, Thanksgiving isn't for Christmas. Damn it. Ah, screw it, we aren't celebrating those holidays in Thailand anyway. So yeah, we got the next DCDR Arcade and NT broadcast this Tuesday, which coincidentally is about 16 hours after Square Enix E3 press conference. But hey, maybe it's not coincident, maybe they have something that connects to both broadcasts, huh? But you know, don't get your hopes up, we do that every E3 and it's never work out. And consider how it connected between Japanese and US division of Square in terms of the city at least. And how Square conference only lasts one hour, I'm not sure if they will even have enough time for other small games like this. But hey, Square only have one hour conference is actually a good thing since if they have more time than that, they're going to talk about sales and crap. But really, even just Kingdom Hearts 3 content is more than enough to fill one hour. Anyway, everybody know about E3 conference aside from KS3 stuff since this is E3 and everyone can make a leak. This Disney Day broadcast has already been confirmed to announce new stage. So I guess we gotta get like new stage for every 3 or 4 months I guess. For prediction, I guess there are only 2 games that doesn't have a stage yet which is 15 and Type 0. These 2 adorable boys need a place to live. If you ask me, I would like either Insomnia City with as a transition, or Academia with We Have Arrived as a transition. That would be freaking dope. But hey, I haven't finished Type-0 yet, so maybe there's a better choice. But you know, this stage will probably come to NT next month anyway. Two months policy, yay. But these are the new stuff that is still far off from us. The thing that's already in the arcade will probably be announced the real release date for NT this time. Like Good Boy Lock Crow DLC and Warrior of Light Rework Chain. Which did, it's not coming out yet, it's been almost 3 months now. While 2.0 and Noctis Chargeable still pedal with, I want them now man. Of course with new character to NT, it will come with a story update, which I'm a bit curious on how they're going to do it. For Vayne who is just a villain, they can just have some hero fight them and that's one battle easy as that. So what gonna happen with a new hero then, they're not gonna let us play him without DLC obviously. Are they gonna make an excuse to fight him or whatever? Eh, who knows. Just gotta wait and see what happens, same as E3. And that's about it, happy gaming Christmas and may E3 Santa give you a real gift this year for once.